Okay, well, it seems once again Oculus has uh, changed how to enable your Twitch chat to be visible in your VR games while streaming. So I have yet another update video to make here. Uh, before we get started, I will say that uh, since the last Oculus update, uh, I am currently using Oculus version 1.39.0272, all that stuff. And today is currently August 13th, 2019. Uh, as of this update, this feature is a little bit buggy. It will probably mess up towards the end of this video, but uh, the concept and, and how it works is still the same. So hopefully we should be able to get through what we need to do. So basically you want your Twitch chat in your VR uh, headset or in your games, your experiences or whatever. Uh, that way you can kind of keep an eye on whatever's going on when you're streaming. Totally fine. Uh, it costs nothing. It's actually built into Oculus, even though it's a little bit squirrely now. Uh, it's worked much better in the past. Uh, I'm not sure what's changed. I'm hoping they're going to fix it to be a little bit better. So, uh, again, no special programs or anything going. Uh, just basic right into Oculus. So, there's nothing you need to set up here uh, in your Oculus software. You will want to bring up your Twitch page. Now, obviously, you don't want to bring up my Twitch page. You want to bring up your Twitch page. Uh, when you do that, and uh, this is really the only setup you have to do, or at least uh, you can do without the headset, but you can obviously do it with it as well. Hit your gear on your Twitch chat. Use this option, pop out chat. Boom. Brings your chat window over here. Not a big deal. You actually don't even need that anymore. Uh, the other thing you want to check is actually in your dash your oculus dash or your oculus home setting right here settings down here under experiments and this is probably why they're going to say it's a little buggy now you want to make sure virtual desktop panel pullout is enabled uh, if that's off turn it on it'll kind of do a boop boop thing and then maybe flash or something like that um, i've also had oculus crash when i do that um, i've also turned this on and saw that that was grayed out and i couldn't uh, actually turn it on if you see any of those weird things uh, update your video drivers update your oculus all that normal stuff uh, also what i found helped especially if this is just grayed out is just turn off your computer wait about 30 seconds power it back on it doesn't make sense uh, um, I don't, I'm not sure what's really changed, but, uh, again, this does need to be enabled before we do what else we're going to do here. So we're going to go back to our virtual desktop. We're going to find this window that we pulled out, which is just our chat. You're going to hit the A button. And if you can't tell right now, the A button is the big fat button that's closest to you on your right hand. You want to hold the A button while you're over your, your chat window and then use the grab button. So that's your middle finger or your uh, ring finger or pinky or however you're set up, but these right here. Oh, so the, yeah, there's kind of the A button. But anyway, so once you do that, you're gonna pull out just this window. When you grab it, you can move it around, twist it, turn it. Uh, if you also use your left analog stick, you can make it smaller by going to the left, larger by going to the right, and you can place it wherever you want. Now the key here to make sure that you don't lose this, because if I did this right now, boom, it's gone. Go back, it's there again. Yeah, and I can tell my desktop already messed up. That's fine though, we got what we needed. Um, what you're looking for is right here, this little push pin. This is going to pin window to experience. So just go ahead and either trigger that or A button, whatever you want, there we go. Uh, or I guess now it's, yeah, just pin, unpin. Uh, so what that does then is when you take the menu away, it stays. You can still, when you're in the, the Oculus dash here, you can still move it around as you need to. So now we've got the window where we want it. All we have to do is start up a game. So we're going to start up B99. Awesome game. Uh, it's a great value. I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, developer is a really great guy. Um, he's, I've suggested things to him that he's implemented overnight. Uh, it's kind of a retro arcade, uh, roguelike type game, but anyway, I'm not going to play it or anything like that. I just want to let you see that the game is actually running and we still have our Twitch chat. Now you'll notice the game kind of happens behind it. So depending on the game that you're playing, you may want to move it to either the side or behind you. Just hit your right menu button. So the flat button on your right hand. And then you can grab it 
and move it wherever you want now. When you got it where you want it, let go, hit that menu button again to get back in your game and you'll see it stays there. So this is obviously is a game that I own in Oculus, it works just fine. I'm gonna show you that the same thing happens when you play a Steam game. So uh, as you can see, our window's still going on here. I'm gonna pull up Skyrim VR, which is only available through Steam. So no tricks or anything crazy, Skyrim VR. It's also going to launch Steam VR. I have another video if you're uh, wanting to know how you can uh, basically set that up to work. So here's the Steam VR environment. And here's that, that A button we talked about right there. Here's our splash screen for Bethesda. Chat's still there. In fact, I'll go ahead and, well, I'll wait till this loads. But yeah, this is free. This is fairly simple, in my opinion, when, when it works correctly. Um, I'll go ahead and actually load up the game. Hopefully I'm not like about ready to fight a dragon or something like that. But uh, as you can see, even though I'm using Oculus, my chat window is still there. Uh, I'm in a Steam game. And just like before, hit that right flat menu button. You can grab it and move it wherever you need it. Resize it. Do whatever you want. So the key again is this little pin, unpin button. That's going to basically keep that in wherever you put it. And you can play your games, stream them, and keep an eye on uh, your chat for your followers or anyone. Uh, now, the only other thing I'll suggest is, as you can see, this text, uh, the font is a little small. Uh, what you can do beforehand is you can actually go in before you put your headset on and pop that out. If you hold down Control and then use your mouse wheel, you can actually zoom in on that uh, and make it a little bit easier for you to see where you're in your game. Uh, you can also... Whoop, not what I was trying to do there. Uh, of course, you can also make it bigger here, but of course, to make the text that big um, and try to read it, you're also going to be blocking out more of your game. So I would suggest using the control and mouse wheel button. So there you go. Uh, we have our Twitch chat in our Oculus and our Steam VR games for free with no extra tricks or programs or anything like that to run. So again, you want to highlight the window you want, hold down A, and then use your grip while you're still holding A, and then you can manip manipulate just that one window. Um, if you're having issues, again, like I said, it's kind of buggy right now. Um, drop me a, a question or, or let me know what's going on in the comments. Keep in mind, I don't work for Oculus. I'm not Oculus tech support, so I might not have the answer for you. So. Uh, if this doesn't work for you, obviously it did work for me this way. Uh, everyone's system is a little bit different. So uh, if you do have those problems, let me know. And we'll try and work through it together. But, you know, try not to downvote or whatever people sometimes do on the Internet when things don't go their way because it's not my fault. I'm just trying to help out. So uh, check it out. And if you, uh, like I said, there's other videos I have uh, as far as if you want to find out all the different things you can do, use uh, your Oculus Rift, especially when going to a Steam uh, or getting it to record in OBS. I've got other videos like that, too.